continuing the lecture in the anatomy of the front of the thigh today we will be discussing an important content of the front of the thigh which is the femoral triangle the femoral triangle is a triangular depression on the front of the upper one third of the thigh which is seen immediately below the inguinal ligament now what are the objectives of the femoral triangle in the femoral triangle we must study about their boundaries that is what are the boundaries of the femoral triangle and next we will see what are the contents of the femoral triangle and we will be discussing about the femoral sheet and the femoral canal now first let us see what are the boundaries of the femoral triangle the femoral triangle is bounded laterally by the medial border of sartorius and medially by the medial border of adductor longus so this femoral triangle has a medial boundary lateral boundary apex and base lateral boundary is formed by the medial border of sartorius and the medial boundary is formed by the medial border of adductor longus and its base is formed by the inguinal ligament and the apex is directed downwards and is formed by the point where the medial and lateral boundaries meet and this apex is continuous below with a canal called as the adductor canal after knowing the boundaries that is medial lateral the base as well as apex let us see the roof and floor of the femoral triangle the roof of the femoral triangle is formed by the following structures from superficial to deep that is the skin after the skin next is the superficial fascia which contains the superficial inguinal lymph nodes you also know that the superficial fascia of the front of the thigh over the femoral triangle you can see the femoral branch of genito femoral nerve and the branches of ilio inguinal nerve and also we can see the superficial branches of femoral artery with accompanying veins and we already studied that in the superficial fascia of the front of the thigh we have an important vein called as the long saphenous vein or great saphenous vein so in the roof we said that from superficial to deep the roof is formed by the skin after the skin you can see the superficial fascia that is the superficial fascia in the front of the thigh over the femoral triangle along with its contents and the third one after removing the superficial fascia you can find the deep fascia with the saphenous opening and cribriform fascia these are the structures which are forming the roof of the femoral triangle after the roof we must see the floor of the triangle the floor of the femoral triangle is formed medially by the adductor longus and pectineus and laterally by the iliacus and psoas major muscles these four muscles which forms the floor of the femoral triangle and after knowing the boundaries of the femoral triangle in detail now we shall discuss about what are the contents of the femoral triangle the femoral triangle contains the femoral artery and its branches 
you should remember that the femoral artery traverses the triangle from its base at the meeting vinyl point to the apex and in the triangle it gives off six branches that is three superficial and three deep branches you already studied the uh, three superficial branches are the superficial external pudendal artery the superficial epigastric artery and the superficial circumflex iliac artery and the deep branches are the profunda femoris and the second one is the deep external pudendal artery and others are the muscular branches like that the femoral artery in the femoral triangle gives off totally six branches in that the three are superficial branches and the three are deep branches and here the profunda femoris artery is the largest branch of the femoral artery and this in turn gives rise to another two arteries in the femoral triangle itself called as the medial and lateral circumflex femoral arteries and the second content is the femoral vein so we all know that the femoral vein is also receiving a tributary uh, directly from the great saphenous vein so we can see the femoral vein and its tributaries and this femoral vein accompanies the femoral artery that is the vein is medial to the artery at the base of the triangle but by the time it reaches the apex the femoral vein is postero medial to the artery at the apex and this femoral vein in the femoral triangle receives drainage from the great saphenous vein the circumflex veins and also the veins corresponding to the branches of the femoral artery and the third content is the femoral triangle contain the femoral sheet which encloses the upper 4 cm of the femoral vessels and the fourth one we can see some nerves in the femoral triangle they are the femoral nerve which lies lateral to the femoral artery that is outside the femoral sheet and this femoral nerve is exactly located in the groove between the iliacus and psoas major muscles and second is the nerve to the pectineus this nerve to the pectineus arises from the femoral nerve itself but it arises from the femoral nerve just above the inguinal ligaments after it arises from the femoral nerve this nerve to the pectineus passes behind the femoral sheet that is behind the inguinal ligament and behind the femoral sheet to reach the anterior surface of the pectineus where it gives innervation to the pectineus muscle and the third nerve is the femoral branch of genito femoral nerve this femoral branch of genito femoral nerve occupies the lateral compartment of the femoral sheet along with the femoral artery and this femoral branch of genito femoral nerve supplies the most of the skin over the femoral triangle and the fourth one is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh this lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh crosses the lateral angle of the triangle and at last you can also see the deep inguinal lymph nodes which lies deep to the deep fascia so these are all the contents of the femoral triangle let's summarize the contents again the femoral triangle contains the femoral artery and its branches that is three superficial and three deep branches second is the femoral vein and its tributaries and the third is the femoral sheet fourth one are the nerves there are four nerves which are seen in the femoral triangle they are the femoral nerve itself second is the nerve to pectineus 
third is the femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve and the fourth is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh and the last contained is the deep inguinal lymph nodes which lies deep to the deep fascia by this we finished the boundaries of the femoral triangle and its contents next we will be discussing about the femoral sheet this femoral sheet is a funnel shaped sleeve of fascia enclosing the upper 3 to 4 cm of the femoral vessels this femoral sheet is formed by the downward extensions of the two layers of the fascia of the abdomen where the anterior wall of the femoral sheet is formed by the fascia transversalis which lies in anterior abdominal wall deep to the transverse abdominus muscle and the posterior wall is formed by the fascia iliaca which covers the iliacus muscle inferiorly this femoral sheet merges with the connective tissue around the femoral vessels the femoral sheet is asymmetrical where its lateral wall is vertical and the medial wall is oblique being directed downwards and laterally the sheet is divided into three compartments by means of septa the lateral or arterial compartment contains the femoral artery and the femoral branch of genito femoral nerve the intermediate compartment or venous compartment contains the femoral vein and the medial compartment is also called as the lymphatic compartment and it is smallest of all the three compartments and it is known as the femoral canal now we will discuss in detail about the dimensions and the anatomical importance of the femoral canal this femoral canal is the medial compartment of the femoral sheet which is conical in shape being wide above or at the base and narrower below and if you see the dimensions of the femoral canal it is 1.5 cm long and about 1.5 cm wide at the base and the base or the upper end of the femoral canal is called as the femoral ring and the boundaries of the ring are very important here and it is bounded anteriorly by the inguinal ligament and posteriorly by the pectineus and its covering fascia medially it is formed by the concave margin of the lacunar ligament and laterally by the septum separating it from the femoral vein and here the inferior epigastric vessels are closely related to the junction of the anterior and lateral walls of the ring the femoral ring is closed by the condensation of extra peritoneal connective tissue which is called as the femoral septum and here the parietal peritoneum which is covering the septum from the above shows a depression which is called as the femoral fossa the femoral canal contains the lymph node of clockwet is also called as the lymph node of rosenmuller along with the lymph node of clockwet it also contains the lymphatics and the small amount of areolar tissue this lymph node drains the glans penis in males and the clitoris in females